Oh, we're having a hot time with some cool foods today on DIY Side. Experiments you can eat at home. Look at that. A big green worm. Bam, there's your spaghetti. Yum. Crazy recipes all based on science right now on DIY Side. Serious, it's gonna be good. Mmm. I'm Steve Spangler, and I love blowing stuff up with the power of science. I'm gonna show you how you can do it yourself. Bam! You can harness the power of science in your own home with DIY Sci. Hey everybody, welcome to DIY Side. Today we're in Denver, Colorado at a really cool restaurant called Brighter. Brighter is one of the leaders in the food revolution that's sweeping across the city of Denver. We're here at Brighter Restaurant to do some really cool experiments in molecular gastronomy. If you haven't heard about that before, it's what happens to the physical and chemical changes in food. We have some really, really cool ingredients. We have a different food kind of preparation process, and we're able to uh, make things that maybe look like something that you would eat, but it's something completely different. For example, take a look at this plate of spaghetti. No, 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 no. You're saying spinach spaghetti? No, no, it's not spaghetti. It's actually gelatinized spinach that looks like spaghetti. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Let's start with our spinach mixture. All right, so let's start with this, about three quarters of a cup of water, about 350 milliliters or so. To that, we're gonna add spinach, about a cup of spinach. Grind it up with an immersion blender. All right, looks good. Strain the mixture into a pot, and now comes the molecular gastronomy. We're gonna add a thickening agent to actually turn it into that spaghetti-like material. And what we're gonna use is a substance called auger, auger. It's so good they had to name it twice. And we're also gonna use locust gum. It's a thickening agent as well. Again, these are things that you can find at kind of a health food store. And I'm only gonna need about a gram of each one of those. Add the auger, auger, and the locust gum. After a couple of minutes, bring the mixture to a boil and mix it. Perfect. That's the consistency that you want. You can see that it's starting to get thick, but not super thick. And now, let's pour this into here. Let that sit for just a minute and we'll get our syringe ready. That's right, I set a plastic syringe and tubing. So now, one end of the tube goes down into our spinach